Hi everyone, Wanna Wander here. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick video, um, show you something new. I have a new addition to Wanda that I am thrilled about and wanted to share with you guys. Uh, as most of you know, I do live in an RV full time. And uh, just a quick update, I love it. Um, but anyways, uh, so one of the things that I realized that I really miss is my washer and dryer. I hate going to the laundromat. I hate carrying two pounds of quarters. Um, I hate everything that it entails. It's hot. It's awkward. You don't get anything done. It's not comfortable. Um, I also hate asking my friends and family if I can use theirs and I don't know. It's just weird. So what I did was I finally buckled down and I bought this bad boy. This is my portable washer spinning cycle combo. Um, now the cool thing is you can choose how long you want to wash for. So here's your wash time. Um, if you have a heavy load, uh, that's really soiled 15 minutes, but in reality, 15 minutes is all you're going to be washing it for. And then over here you have your spinner. So this spins out all of the water in a maximum of five minutes. Really, I've only used three, um, because Pretty much when you pull the clothes out, it's almost dry. dry excuse me. Um, one of the things that I'm having a hard time remembering is this one. Because when I get done with a load, you want to drain it. And then I always forget to put it back to standard or soft so it doesn't drain when I'm putting water in it. Now, another thing is the instructions for this were terrible. Um, so I did some research and tried some things out of my own. Now, this is one of the pieces that came with it. Um, this is a little hose here, as you can see. It came with two to go in this inlet and this inlet. So, I'll show you how that works. So, you just put that in there. But the problem with it is, this is the other end. What in the world am I supposed to do with this? So, I did what any girl would do. I took this and my shower head and I went to Ace Hardware and I asked them to help me. And what we came up with was this. So this right here is my shower head. This is where my shower head would go. Here's a little adapter that goes in it and some plumbing tape and then just a little clamp to put it on the other end. And now all I have to do is I have it attached in there. And then I come over here and I turn on my water and it goes into my washer. Now I've already got a load in here that I have started. So what I want to show you is there's some fabric in there that I am working on with a cover for my booths. So you'll see a new video about that before too long showing you what I did and how I did it. Um, but what you want to do here is you put it on... I'm going to say 12 and what's going to happen is it's going to keep spinning and spinning and spinning until the time is out and you can see that the colors coming out of the fabric which is why I'm washing them before I do my project um, but one of the things that you're going to have to kind of work with is the soap um, making sure that you put enough soap in it and not too much because I've seen the cases where um, it ends up that people get soap everywhere uh, and obviously you don't want to do that. So just play with it a little bit. You'll be able to tell if there are any suds, probably put a little bit more in there. Uh, also to get a fabric softener. Uh, I found out the first couple loads that I did because I air dry them were kind of tough um, and not really fluffy and comfortable. Uh, so I got a fabric softener and I mixed that in with the soap and uh, I've seen a huge, huge difference in the whole process. So right now you can see that it's just going to timer down. It's still going on in here and washing those up. You can see just a little bit of suds, so it should be about right. And now in 12 minutes, it's going to stop and I will show you what to do as far as the spinning cycle goes. Okay, so now you can see here that it is at the zero. So we are ready 
to drain. Obviously, we don't want to take all of that out when it's so full. So now this is, again, where I always forget to put it back, but once you hit drain, you can see here, the way that I have it set up, it drains right into my tub and down the drain. So really convenient. Um, if you're going to have this in like your house or something, you might want to put it in your tub. Um, if you have the ability to build something out, uh, you want to make sure that you have a spot that it can drain all of this water because that's very important. So you can see here that it's starting to drain. So then what happens is I take this and I move it over here to my water inlet for the spinning cycle. And what I will do is then put these into here as soon as it drains out completely. Okay, so now you can see that it's all drained out and I've taken about half of it out and put it in here. Um, so there's quite a bit in here, but what will happen is I'll turn on this water and water will start to go in to the spin cycle and actually rinse out the clothes while it is spinning. So again, you can see the water coming out and I usually leave the water on until you can see that it has ran clear. So once it's run clear, you know that this, the water is going through the spin cycle and has rinsed everything out of the load that you did. So now it looks clear. I'm gonna come over here and turn it off. And now in about three minutes, it'll be completely spinned out. Okay, so you can see here that it is almost to the zero then you hear a click. You can also see that there's no more water coming out of the hose, so you can tell that um, it's ready. So as soon as it stops, it takes a little second to get it stopped, so open it up, and voila, you have your clothes, or fabric in my case, and they are pretty much dry. Um, so now what I typically do is I either put up tension rods in Wanda and hang them on that, or I have a clothes drying rack that I'll put them on. Um, for this specific moment, I will be taking them to the dryer that's on the RV park that I'm staying at because I want to get to my um, booth cushion. So I want to get those finished. Um, but yeah, pretty simple. Um, like I said, it's really easy and it's a huge lifesaver. I don't have to go to the laundromat. I get to do it in my house. And while I was waiting for the first load to get done, I did some stuff around the house and some dishes and things. Um, and then while I was waiting for the spin cycle, I, I'll be honest, I was on Facebook. So, um, which obviously if you're at the laundromat, you can be on Facebook the whole time, but you're probably not going to get your dishes done or your stuff picked up around the house. So lifesaver, absolutely love it. Um, let me know if you have any questions or where to get it or anything like that, or you have any feedback. Really appreciate your time and I hope you like it. Bye y'all.